Hello everybody, it's Tina from Tina's Crafty Life. How are you? I hope you're good. I got friendship mail in from Bima, it's Crafty Corner, Darkwood Sanctuary, aka Eggs Hollow. And I will have to say, there's a story behind the Hag Hollows, and I will get that, but I'm going to show Bima's first. I won one of her little giveaways, and it was this Halloween tassel. The story behind this tassel, so I panicked. Because last week, Bima sent me some of that wonderful, awesome, awesomeness. Sugar Skull Ribbon. And the envelope was split. And I, I expected her to put the, you know, the tassel in one packet in there, too. Because I figured while she was sending me the ribbon, I just assumed, that was on me, that it was going to be in the same package. But when I got it, it was split, so I panicked. And I'm like, Pima, so was this tassel in there? And she goes, no, why? I said, and then I sent her picture. She was like, no, it's coming. I'm like, okay, because I was worried, you know. I mean, if it, ha if it got the lost, it got lost. I was like, no big deal, but I didn't want her to think I wasn't appreciated it, you know, if I got it and I didn't appreciate the gift and all it was a cute little cute way. But think this this is the sugar skull material or a ribbon she sent me last week. Isn't that awesome? I already have it up on my curtains. So but I want this cool tassel. And look at I love how she did this top of this. I never saw these before. You see that little metal piece? I'm going to steal that idea. I told her that last night. There's green, brown, purples in here. They're so pretty. Silver. And then at the end of this, there is a pumpkin a haunted house, I'm calling it. A, a skull and crossbone. And a little skull dude. Very pretty, pretty, pretty. It's very pretty. And it's very long. Length. But, y'all know that this week I am starting the Halloween canvas book kit that I bought from BMA. This I'm going to be adding to my book. So, I'm going to set it in my bag. I have it out here because I want to start doing that this week. Definitely, maybe today I'll go live and start the first section. So it's in there so I don't lose it. And I love her card. I should have read her card first. It says, Friends put a dollar amount on simple things. Friends don't put a dollar amount on simple things. Keep creating that beauty you put in the world every day. E. And she went to Tuesday morning. We all see her Tuesday morning. Scavanner. Sc sc no, I can't say it. Scavenger. Scavanners. Sorry. And I, met, I contacted her going, I've been looking for this certain color of Jane Davenport. And Hobby Lobby had it. And I went and it was gone. And they're not carrying them anymore. Which bites. It was the neutral makeup, I call it. She had it. I've been waiting to hear from her. <laughs> and she sent it to me in friend mail. So thank you so much. I'm so stoked that I got the neutral. I love neutral colors. So that was so cool. Thank you, Bima. Now, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put that away right away. Go with my other one. Go check out Bima's Etsy store right now. She's got more Jane Davenport on there. Um... I sent Amy a, a whole bunch of random stuff, and I told Bima, as well as Amy, I love her paper. I could tell I love her paper. My thing is, is y'all know I'm really not a journal maker, and I'd want to rip it, and then I'd feel guilty if I ripped it up to make something. You know, I'm a mixed media art. I do a lot of mixed media. So Amy's paper, to me buying her bundles, her beautiful paper bundles. I would not want to use it and it'd sit here in my craft room because 
I would have a hard time destroying it for some other project. Well, then Pima told me about her oopses or something, and I'm like, okay. Well, I was going to buy one at the sale, and and I and I missed out on it. Well, I was worried because she sent me one, and I was looking at it a little bit last night. I was like, oh, my God, I don't know if I can do this either. <laughs> I'll be honest, I told David that. I had a few out, but there is a note. This little baggie. I love, look at the bag. She must have did the bag, too. So, let's check out the bag, guys. Outside, outside, beyond. Defendo. Oh, my cool. Let's see. Says, Tina, I adored the happy mail you sent me. Such a sweet, generous treat. I put together some of my grungiest most damaged papers and ephemera for you to use in your mixed media. I hope you enjoy. There's some oopses in which it can be. Hun. <laughs> okay. So, because, like I said, her paper's too beautiful to be ripped. <laughs> but I said to be on and Amy, I'm like, oh my god, these are gorgeous. So let's check this out. Oh, look at how she did that. Coffee thingies, I think. Yeah. Look at how that color goes around. I am just odd right now. I was odd last night just looking at the few. I have not gone through all this, guys. So you're going to see me. But I got tears in my eyes when I opened that package and saw this. Well, look at that wonderful. If she dyed that, that's awesome. Okay. I got whatever little dip she calls these. That was in the creative video. And this blue. My grandson's going to eat this blue up. And then a little sale slip. This is some cool filled paper. And another one is down. Look at that purple. That's so pretty. Okay. That was what was in this little envelope. And thank you, Hig Hollow. Amy. As I told her, the next one I said, save me the next one, you know, because she says it takes her like six months to do the oopses because she doesn't get a lot of oopses. Uh, save me one. So let's check out the rest. So I'm just going to pull it out and go one by one. She told me last night because I'm like, it's so pretty. I don't know if I can do it. So she said she even threw some little bits in there that she ripped accidentally. Because she knows it's like this, I will use this. And like they're ripped here and there, and that's fine with me because I probably won't have such a problem now that it's already ripped. I know I'm a weirdo, but can you see what I mean? I mean, if this was a regular piece, not ripped or not oopsed up, I would have a hard time. I don't know. How so we'll get that. We got some of her vintage or coffee stained ones. And she's like, rip them up, girl. Use them in your mixed media. That's why I gave, sent them to you. So cool. Oh, that's kind of cool how she did the recipe card. Oh, look at this one. Now that's cool. See, okay, now that I'm actually going through the the, the paper, I could see me doing it. I, that's awesome. God, that purple is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And a yellow envelope. And a doily leaf. That purple. I could see, I told Bima, I could see why the ladies love her paper. Now that I have it firsthand, oh, there's a little chunk of green one. The blue. God, that blue's gorgeous. And then some tea dyed paper. Oh. Look at this green. Oh my God, look at that green.
and a mess load of these little cards. Or tags. They have a number on. There's a little itty bitty number right there. So I don't know exactly, but I would use them for tags. Really cool. Another doily. Oh, look at that one. These are so cool. And then green. I like that look. Even that, huh? The oopses. I got a few like that myself. I love them. And a purple. And a black. Her black's even good. See, I tried black. I can't not get black. It always turns out gray. It's blue. Oh, I just love the blue. See, I like this look right here on the bottom. Uh, Allie tries to do that where it starts dark and goes into light. I let my grandkids experiment. There, yeah, right now, um, not that I want to take Amy's idea, and I wouldn't. Um, but Allie likes doing this dye in paper and stuff. She likes, if you guys saw yesterday, oh, she took her home. They did these with the sprays. This one of Allie's. See how she's got a one color and another color and another color? Loves doing that. And I let them use sprays. Well, that was food coloring. So I may move up to dyes with Allie eventually. Like, Amy, I know this is dyed. I don't know if Allie would be able to take, like, this dye that, like, Amy may use. I don't even know. I just know what she uses a dye. If she could do with the dye in a spray bottle, she'll get the look like she wants here. I mean, she's only 10. Because Allie likes doing the different shades. I don't know if even she could do that with the dyes. I don't know. That would be a good question I should ask Amy. Because, you know, I'm not going to discourage my grandkids, but I ain't going to take somebody else's idea either. Oh, that is so cool. These are, oh my God, this these purples are awesome. The blue, I love, I'm going to say it again, I just love the blue. Damn, so pretty. Because, you know, I'm all about encouraging my grandchildren in any way they can the coffee dyed. So pretty. Ooh. And I don't think Amy or BMO would have me discouraged either. But eventually I want to work, you know, invest in better quality, quantity, quality sprays, inks for Allie if she continues down the road she is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Right. You guys understand what I'm saying? I mean, because you can tell, look at... And this is like only food color, and I think they're awesome. And look at... You know, you can tell the quality of Amy's dye to the food coloring. I'm just saying. But right now, that would be to me buying dye or whatever or my delusion sprays it's, for me that's too high an expense to let the grandchild mess around and learn her technique so <clears throat> but I don't even know and I'm gonna ask Amy so down in the road down in the future if Allie continues because she just said to me can I do that spray again Anna Nana I'm like yeah she wants to come here this weekend spend a night so she can not have her sister and brother out there with her so we have pink that if eventually, oh, this pink's pretty too. I like, see, I like that. Um, if I do eventually buy her better material, there we go, material to use, if Allie would be able to spray like one, be like taking the pink and purple and putting them together and because... She'd be sprinting. She wouldn't be layering, I guess. 
Very pretty, if that makes sense. Ah, oh, that's pretty. I love how deep purple. See, I like the deep colors. I'm not a pastel person. I like my deep colors. So this purple is right up my alley. Purple ring. Prince would like this. <laughs> I'm so bummed. I was supposed to go out there this summer. Go see Paisley Park and they closed it down. But we're going next year. We got our tickets already. Ooh, see, that's pretty. Even the oopses are gorgeous. I told Bima, I said, I don't know if I can use the oopses either. <laughs> I will. You will see them in a project. Oh, look at that. Oh, I keep put, picking one up and discovering another color. <laughs> or even if you could take this type of dye. Because I am not sure what she uses. I just know she dyes them. And spray it. Because Allie would dig these colors. But there's a difference from dip. Because I think she dips where Allie would spray. Because Allie likes spritzing. All my kids like spritzing, I tell you. And here's this one. I love that. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh my god, this blue. I just love the blue. Oh, there's plenty of blue here. Coda wants to put because I said blue. To, my grandson, everything's blue, blue, blue. He'll see this and he'll, I'm like, oh, he'll want to use it. And I'm like, I'll be like, you can get my blue, but there's a lot of blue here. I can give it up. I would give it up anyways. Cool. The blues. More blue. It's so pretty. See, I like that. In your pink. That's so pretty. See, I like how that is. This is probably an oops to her right here. I'm not sure how that turned out, but this is awesome. I'm just saying. Even like this. I love it. I don't know what she cla I classifies as oops on the paper itself. If it accidentally ripped or if this was the look she was going for. But I love that look. So I'm cool. That's cool. I can cool with it. I can, re I can use this now. The more I'm getting into it, I'm not going to feel so bad. Blue, I, I, this blue is gorgeous. So you guys, these are the oopses, and I think she told me yesterday or last night that if she had blue on her store. I will, I will have both ladies Etsy stores linked in the description box. So go over and check it out because she has, she has this on her channel. These are ones that were oopses, ripped accidentally. I mean, folded over in a corner or sh some sort of something, whatever Higgs determines is an oops. Me, as a mixed media artist, I couldn't see her taking a one a one of her perfect paper pads or paper lot and ripping it up. I couldn't do it. There's no way. Because I told Bima, she's like, well Amy's got oopses, but it's a little ripped here and up there. Now that what you're seeing, I could do it. But you know last night before I got into it I was looking at it from like this, off the side of the package, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and now that I'm looking and I'm like, oh yeah, I could rip, I could, there's a black, see black's a hard color. When I did, even when I spritz black, it turned so great. Ooh, 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 ooh. I... Love, 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 love how she did this. I don't know how she managed that, 
That's awesome. That is so cool. There's like a gray black. Hey, it's Shamrock Green. And another black. And green. And yellow. And one more yellow. And yellow, yellow, yellow. And this is more Shamrock Green. Actually, our Christmas green. So pretty. God, I love how the shade's going through this. So I don't know what Amy's regular paper without the oops and ahs, to be honest. I see her on camera, but nothing ever looks the right until you get it in your hand. I mean, I could tell Amy's paper was awesome. The colors were awesome. Uh, watching her, I watch her videos. Or when she goes live and she shows it, it's beautiful paper, awesome. But I don't. It's like if she calls this little mark right there, and oops, to me that's awesome. I mean, I love because this right here, this little section from here up, is what her regular paper looks like. Oh my God, I get why you ladies want it so bad. Get it, get it, get it. Because this stuff's gorgeous. Even the oopses are gorgeous, Amy. Accidental rips. Love it. Thank you so much. It's going to be hard. I'll tell you that already, but I will. You'll see it in some future projects. But I want to, oh, I found a tape. I don't know if I put that right there. I'm going to eventually, like I said, I'm going to encourage my granddaughter. She, like I said, Eventually, because I can't keep using my expensive Tim Holtz and my Delusion inks on one of my grandkids do pictures. <laughs> so I have to figure something out there. Food coloring is what I had yesterday. But Allie, the 10 year old, she likes doing it. That's why she wants to stay this weekend. Trust me. Nana, can I come this weekend so that I can do some more paper? And can I use your other inks? And I was like, and I don't want to discourage, and I'm like, yes. I told her I'd have to think about this weekend because I didn't know what Scott ha if Scott has any plans. So, we'll have to talk. But before I invest in better inks, something like Amy's inks or dyes, a dye versus an ink, I'm going to have to ask that. See if Amy can, there's got to be a difference. Well, color wise, I can understand. But see, I think what she does is she puts hers in a vat and soaks them where Allie would be sprinting, spritz it on the top. Probably a big difference too. But I want to thank both Bima and Higgs Hollow for the wonderful friendship mail. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm loving the paper. I love, you know I'm just going to love that Jane, Jane Davenport. And you will see the tassel in the Halloween kit. Go check out these ladies' Etsy stores. There are some canvas kits. I believe they are. I do that all the time. I'm going to check real quick before I get going and tell you to go over to, well, either way, go over and check out Be My Store and Egg Hollow. Let's see. Oh, I'm sticking here. Go to my favorites. And ba -dum. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, no, there are no. Oh, let's see. Yep, there are still three available of her Halloween kits. So, if you want a one, go over and check out Bima's Etsy store, which I said I will have both. BMOs and Hague Hollows Etsy stores linked in the description box below. So please go over, check out their Etsy store, as well as their channels I will have in the description box. So go check them, their, their channels out if you have not already. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. As always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now.